Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with this black cart. Now, I purchased this recently from Aldi's. I believe it was $29.99. So let me dive in and let me start showing you on how I have my stuff organized. So this top drawer, I have marked string. So I have cord, string, um, some wire. The one right below it, I have marked as tools. So I'll have uh, zip tie, sandpaper, scissors, um, other wire. So that is what's in that one. This one, I, I don't have it marked yet, but here I just have some miscellaneous items like these, um, wood ball legs things that were on clearance. And I have some of the chalkboard tags and that in there. Over here we have string and wood. So there's more string over there. I have these um, jot adhesive label holders, which is what I use to label a lot of my items. Um, let's see, there's some glitter glue here. I have it marked as wood sticks. So I just have all different kinds of wood items from the Dollar Tree mostly. And then here I have all sorts of ribbon and burlap ribbon. Um, pretty much everything in here is from the Dollar Tree. Moving on along, over here we have different things of paint. Now I have a lot more paint than this, but this is what I have in here so far. Up here I have marked as wood, so I have a bunch of different wood cutouts that I can use for different DIYs and pocket fillers for um, pocket letters. Um, you'll be seeing a lot of stuff for pocket letters. If you do not know what that is, I will link that video down below and I show you on how I make mine. Here I have it marked as rope and buttons. So I have some of my nautica rope. I have um, different things of buttons from the Dollar Tree, which I do have a uh, DIY in store for those. I have some Jenga pieces. Here, um, this is a wood burning tool, which I have not been able to use yet. Um, also, I have these um, stamp sets to do bracelets, so I just have that in there for now. Up here, I have all sorts of glue and tape. And then up here, I have a bunch of different paint brushes. And on top, I have these containers from the Dollar Tree. These are different... Um, wood beads and letters. So I have that one. This one is just a bunch of heart cutouts. And then I have these wood beads. Same within this crate. I have different beads. I have a lot of them separated by size and shape. And then I have some of these from the Dollar Tree. So I have those separated and same with all of these. These are all organized. Okay, now I'm going to move to my next cart. This was purchased as well um, from Aldi's. I'm not 100% sure how much it was. It might be like 20. Um, on top here, these I have not put away yet, but I'm doing some DIYs with these. Up here, I just have some of these organizers that I have different pads of paper and journals in. The top drawer here, I just have all different kinds of gel pens and markers. This one is full of all of my washi tape. This one, um, they're just a bunch of DIYs that I've done. So I just threw those in there for now. So I have a bunch of those. This is marked felt. Different fabrics in there. Here's some rub-ons. Here I have different kinds of bags. Down here I have my stencils, words and rings, so a bunch of the galvanized words from the Dollar Tree. I have some mirrors and some keychain rings. This is full of different notepads. And down here I have a bunch of these round tins. Moving on over to this cabinet, um, inside here, I have more of these um, containers from the Dollar Tree. These all have different stickers in them. Here I have a bunch of wired lights. I have my spray paint and some of my other paint in there. Down here I have some more um, containers from the Dollar Tree. These are different gems. Um, let's see, in here I have a bunch of these little envelope cards. 
and more gems and some keychains. On top I have this um, tool bag from Freight, something Freight. Um, I just have some miscellaneous items in there so it's easy just to grab and go. I have pliers, scissors, and then up here I have this big container full of these stamp cutouts. So I have all different kinds in there. Moving over to this cabinet here. Um, there's some glue sticks. In here I really don't have anything organized yet. These are just a bunch of miscellaneous items that I just threw in here for now. But this is a really cute container. I found this at um, Salvation Army a few years ago. And let's see, moving over here, I've got rid of a lot of this stuff, but these um, containers are from Michaels. So they're really nice to just to pull out like that to put little miscellaneous items in there. So yeah, don't have a whole lot on there. Over here, nothing real special. I just have some buttons, scissors, pens, um, some more markers over here. And here I just have some like little pearl beads. Nothing too exciting over here. And just some envelopes, more miscellaneous items. And if you guys have not seen my smiley board, well actually it's my wall now. These are a bunch of pictures that you guys have sent me from day one. I always come in here and look at your guys' pictures. Um, I always try to include my P.O. box. So if you want to send any pictures, feel free to. I'll go ahead and put that address down below. So yeah, I have a ton of your guys' pictures. So, okay, so let's move over here. So this cart came from Costco's. Um, I bought it maybe a little over a year ago. I think it was about $50. It is heavy duty. It's on wheels. It has um, locks and it has some hooks on the side. So let me start pulling some of these items out to show you on how I have my stuff organized. So down here I have my um, rotary tool, which I have not even used yet. This container is just some miscellaneous items, nothing really exciting in there. This little container just has a bunch of um, little sticky pads. So I have those here underneath my cart. And up here I have a few rolls of twine. I've been doing a lot of DIYs with twine. Uh, okay, let me start pulling this stuff out. So in here, I just have some playing cards that I use for my pocket letters. And this container, hey, I was looking for that. I just have blank pieces of paper, which I like to use my punch thingy-madoobers to get different shapes. Um, so this is all plain paper. In this container, I just have some pieces of cloth. In here, I have some puffy paint. On the next rack, I have my scale that I use when I ship things out. I have a thermal laminator. And let's see, this is just some other miscellaneous stuff. These are the envelopes I use for my pocket letters. Here is a basket of rubber bands. Down here, I just have some markers. These are just some clothespins, some more blank paper, and a bunch of glitter, which I have pretty much organized. Over here, I have a bunch of my buttons that a lot of you have sent me. And let's see, that's just miscellaneous stuff. What's in there? I have different kinds of scissors in there <clears throat> that cut out different shapes. These are just some clear containers with some clips. Moving on up here to the next level. So in my first container, these are just different handbags that I can use my stencils on and puffy paint. So these are all plain bags. This right here, I have all of my stamps and clear stamps that are in this binder here. And I also have all of my ink in there as well. And now we're going to move to these containers, which you can see I have a lot of. So all of these containers came from Michaels. I wait till they have them like 70% off. 
this is what they are called large photo and craft keeper i absolutely love these now you can also order these online um, they have them in multicolor, or you can get the clear i choose to get the clear it's just easier to see now this stuff is not labeled but my stickers are so i'm just going to go through some of these to show you i have different little bags in here um different tags uh, paper cutouts more paper card holders so that is what is in that one this one i have a lot of paper goods as well so i'm just going to pull these out I guess I can open one to show you how easy it is. These are really, really nice. Um, just more of the paper cutouts. I get a lot of that stuff on clearance at um, Hobby Lobby. And I always, once I buy something and haul it, I always put it where it belongs. So it's easier to find. And it keeps my stuff very well organized. Otherwise, this would be a complete disaster. Moving on to the next one, I just have little um, miscellaneous items. These are all different kinds of charms. Um, I have bracelets, gems, um, buttons that I can make, push pins, a bunch of these keys. When the Dollar Tree had them, I bought a bunch of them. I have some pins. And see, there's different kinds of fancy toothpicks. These are empty. So that is that one. This one has a lot of paper goods as well and different little um, envelopes and paper cutouts. So there's all that kind of stuff. Different papers. So yeah, that is what's in that one. This one has all of my wood cutouts, so I organized them by letters. These are the words, um, letters, more letters, odd shape things. Um, let's see, hearts, more cutouts. These are little tiny ones. These are like little wood cutouts. Same with these, you have the flowers and that. Um, there's flowers, birds, and that one. And these are like cameras and that. So that is what is in that one. This one just has a lot of miscellaneous items. I really don't use this one a whole lot. These are all different kinds of patches, beads, gems, paper clips, clothes pins, um, paper cutouts. Um, more paper clips. These are magnetic ones. So that is what's in that one. This next one, I have some patches, uh, pins, rock, more rock. These are all pearl beads separated by size, color. A couple more wood cutouts right there. Some star confetti. Some glass bottles and miscellaneous items. So that is what's in that one. This one has a lot of my impress art items. So there's some bracelets, more bracelets, um, little clamps for necklaces. Those are necklaces. These are some special markers for the pendants and that. So these are all chains clear baggies, different charms, um, tags. So yeah, these are all for that impress art, which I would really like to get to figuring out how to use all this because I have a ton of this stuff. So that is what's in that one. Okay, now I'm going to be moving on to my stickers and then I will finish um, what I have up there on the very top. But on here, I use these labels from the Dollar Tree, and I label my stickers. So here we have, like, soft animals. So they're, like, little puffy ones. Um, these are little pop-out ones. So this is how I keep my stickers um, organized, so I know exactly what I want to um, grab. Uh, let's see. These are pop-out ones. 
soft pop outs. Got a lot of those. Over here, we just have some miscellaneous small stickers. These are the googly eyes, planner stickers, words, the metallic shiny stickers. Um, let's see, what is that one? That one is food. Some of my stickers fell off, but that is what I have in there. Now, let me show you what's in there. So this I bought at Aldi's, I don't know how many months ago, and this is a fairly good size container. You can use it as a bench as well, but I have a bunch of my stickers in here, so let me pull them out and show you. Okay, so these containers came from Michael's as well. I always wait till they're on sale for just a few bucks, but these are a lot of my bigger um, puffy stickers. I use those a lot on my packages. These are all full of puffy hearts. And here I have just a lot of miscellaneous stuff. I still got to organize um, these items. Same with over here. This is a bunch of miscellaneous items. A lot of goodies in there. And then over here I have more paper goods, um, stickers that I need to go through and cut out and organize. In this container I have all of the job. Ja ja um, button um, file bags, which I absolutely love. You get a pack of three for only a dollar. Like I said, I use those for my pocket letter. And then down here, um, this is just a bunch of paper from Michael's. And then in here, a bunch of other miscellaneous items. In the other container in here, I have a bunch of my items I got from the Dollar Tree, different wood. I have the cutting boards and wood pieces, frames, and the crates. So this is where I store a lot of my um, wood items from the Dollar Tree for DIYs. Now let me show you on what I have up here. So in this one, I have all different kinds of paper and material and some pocket letters that I started. This is another big container full of stickers that I need to go through and separate. Here I have some pocket letters already made up. My son Alex loves to help me with these. So we put, um, we cut like this kind of paper into the shape of cards put those in there and then on the back we use playing cards from the Dollar Tree so that is what's in there this container has some items from Hobby Lobby um, this is like some staple art and cutting board and some other stuff for like clay so that is what's in there now the other two can containers I have are from Michaels as well and these are called washi tape storage case. I buy these when they're about 70% off. So in here, I have some charms that fell out. Um, some beads. These are all my magnets. More clothespins. These are like miscellaneous items that I can make um, bottle caps out of. These are some fancy buttons that I think are really cute. There's some paper items, some wooden tags, and then they lift out. Down here, I have some fun erasers, um, bracelets, more charms, and same with all of this. And my last container that I have on that cart, um, these are some paper flowers. These are some more items to make buttons. Down here, I have the glass containers, more flowers. These are the um, fabric um, flowers from the Dollar Tree and more of the glass containers over here. Oh, and I forgot I have my uh, Muppet Baby stuff in there. So that is what is in there. So the next item that I have stuff stored in, this is a paper studio. I got this on clearance at Hobby Lobby last year. So let me undo it here, show you what's inside. So here I have my special markers and pens and some paint brushes. In here I just have a lot of miscellaneous wood items, some lights, paper, and on the front pocket, I have some stickers, the cork board, and some sticker gems. Over here I have 
um, different clamps to use. And then I got more clamps down in there. And then in this pocket, I have scissors and some knives. Also, I have some of my um, special paint pens in this container. And the last thing I have, this is an old makeup case that my daughter never used. So I hijacked it and I use it to put um, miscellaneous items in. So here I have some cards already cut out, some playing cards. These are some like little match boxes, more cut up paper, um, little cards and envelopes. There's the envelopes, different um, little cutouts down here. I have some punched out paper, different shapes and words, little goodie bags that I've made up that I include in packages when I sell stuff online. I always add extras in all of my packages. So yeah, that is how I keep my stuff organized and easy to find. So I'm hoping I was able to show you some ways on how you can um, store and display your um, craft items. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, I would really love a thumbs up. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to sit and watch my videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling.